Outlaw Law is brought to you by Whitaker and Hamer Attorneys and Counselors at Law, your law firm for life. Welcome back into the Outlaw Lawyers. Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer, your host of the Managing Partners, Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm. Office is located in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, Gastonia, and now in Moorhead City. They're practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. I'm Morgan Patrick, consumer advocate, and each and every week, back and forth, again, many legal topics. If you have any situation you're facing, you've got legal questions and you need some answers, you can always call the firm, 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Leave the contact information, briefly what the call's about, and an attorney will be in touch with you. And you can also email your questions to the show, questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. That's questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. And today, of course, most common estate planning mistakes, these are things you need to avoid. Josh? So these top 10 lists that people put together, they're not always super accurate. They're not always uh, on point, but they they bring up some usually some good talking points. And, and you know, me, Joe, on the show... One of the things that we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, talk to folks and, and answer questions and just warn them about the problems that we we see, you know, and we're we're always, you know, as attorneys, we're always here to help you if, if you need help. The firm's always here to help you. You know, we're uh, we're in seven, like like Morgan tells you, we're in seven cities across the state of North Carolina, cover most of North Carolina uh, for, for some issues. And uh, we're, we try to be there to help. And this is a good way, I think, to kind of talk through some some major problems that we that we see so we got this top 10 list it's top 13 list actually i was wrong yeah that's mistake number one <laughs> <laughs> it's actually 14 now and the and the first one on this list i actually i actually like this one because this is this is what happens right your your biggest estate planning mistake is failing to plan that that's that could be the list right right As, if you fail to make an estate plan you have failed utterly but that's the I'd say that's the the that's top of the list. Obviously, number one with a bullet. Yeah, yeah, and we talk about this a lot of time. This is something you know we try to hit topics that affect a lot of people. And so, planning your state, everybody has something they want to get to the next generation. If you don't have something that you want to get to the next generation, you still need to put people in place to be your. You know, we talk about your agent, right? Your attorney. In fact, we talk about power of attorneys, healthcare power of attorneys. There's still things that that need to be done so that when your time comes, you've, you've taken care of everything that you can take care of. And that's and that's and you mentioned everybody everybody has something they need to drop off. But more than that, to take it ticket another level back, there's one thing we all have in common. Every single one of us. There's not many things we all have in common, but we all have in common the fact that we're definitely going to die a hundred percent. Everybody. I feel like that's a sad, sobering thought, but. Well, you know, I read uh, I read an article and it was in a publication. It was in a it wasn't uh, something I read on the internet. It was like a real publication. But you know, they just pointed out that as human beings, we're the only, as far as we know, we're the only life form on the planet that is aware that it will die. Mm, yeah, that's what somebody said. A scientist, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder how they know that. I tell my dog all the time, I'm like, "You're gonna die, buddy. <laughs> you know, you realize it. It's coming for you." Well, uh, guys, you, you mentioned. Uh, the big one is they just fail to plan. And I think about this and it's, it's such a morbid, it's, it's your end game. And a lot of people don't want to think about the end game and they do put it yeah. off. And sometimes you wait too late and next thing you know, you're in some big hot water. And if you do pass away, I mean, your estate is just, it's lingering. There it is. Yeah. You don't want to jinx it, man. I know some folks like, as soon as I do it, I'm stepping out. The bus is going to smash me. <laughs> Well, it's just like it's just like anything else, you know. If you've got your own business, right? You have to do a lot of planning to make your own business work. You, you, you have life insurance in place. You have your investments. You have your, uh, you know, your pension, IRA, like all this stuff is. You're planning when you do it, and and every, you know, I would argue, first of all, you should have an estate plan, right? That's step one. Who's going to be guardians of your underage children? Are you leaving enough assets where you need to consider putting it in a trust so there's a trustee, you know, helping your your kids, even if they're under 18? A lot of kids wouldn't do well if, you know, you, you drop dead and they get to one million, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in assets. So you never seen the movie Blank Check, I'm, I'm assuming. Man. I haven't. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Well, I can't even talk to you about it. You ruin every bit like that, man. <laughs> you just tell me It's like you've seen it. this movie. It's a movie. It's a movie where a kid... Is he, Bart uh, Simpson in it? Is yeah, the Bart kid, in it? He gets hit. You remember, uh, what's the guy's name, man? God, you're going to be so mad at me. I got to look this up, right. man. Keep, carry on. We'll come back to this. 
No, no, but you, there's things to plan. There's always things, there's always things to plan. If you don't think you have something to plan for, you're wrong. There's, there's something to plan for. And so, you know, not having an estate plan, you know, I've heard some people say things like, you know, Hey, I'll be dead. I don't, I don't care, you know, but there's always a family member. There's always somebody who creates, you know, a ruckus if it's not super clear what, what needs to be done. So an estate plan is, is pretty important and failing to plan at all. Well, that's the biggest mistake you're going to make. That's the biggest mistake on this list. That's the number one mistake. Easily. All right, blank check. Back to it. This is just as important as dying. Sure. Tone Loke is in blank check. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, Tone Loke is in blank check. Tone Loke and uh, some other dude, they're criminals. And that, I can't remember if they rob a bank. They do something. They're committing a crime. And they're backing out, and they hit this kid on his bike. And the kids are like, oh, and they got to get out of there because they've committed this crime. I'm probably messing this up. And they give him a check. They're like, hey, just buy yourself a new bike. And he goes home, and he writes a million dollars on the check, which is like a... A major issue in and of itself, but you're watching as a kid, you're like, this is awesome. And uh, he creates this fake alias, Macintosh, that's his name. Uh-huh. And so he gets, he cashes this million dollar check, he gets all this money, he buys like a mansion, and he lives this like crazy life as, as a, a kid. kid. Yeah, a kid. yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's the gist. Uh, Should go home and watch it with your with your kids. Uh, we probably won't do that. All we right. Well, won't. anyways, you know, Tone Luke was you know he he got he was really successful back there. I was in the sixth grade. What was that like nineteen eighty nine? Yeah, that's about eighty nine right. to ninety one was when he had his mainstream success. And so he had all that success, and then after that, he was like the voice of every cartoon dog. He did a lot anything. of that. He was in Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. I don't remember him in Ace Ventura. And I saw that movie. Hey, he, he well, was a he, detective. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Was he the voice of a cartoon dog? Because I remember him doing that sometimes. Um, yeah, look, man, you should see that movie. You should have seen it before now, but I guess you were a little bit older. I guess it was. Who was I the keep kid? Forgetting. Who was the kid in it? I, oh man, was he like popular you. at the time? I don't know that he was super popular at the time, and I don't know that he's he's popular to this day. I was talking to somebody the other day who listens to the show, and I, I'm always thankful that people take the time to listen to us. And uh, I hope they're fans of Blank Check. I don't think they will be if they're hearing this because their specific thing was to me is like, you guys are good on the radio. I like to listen to you, but you need to talk more about the law and less about movies. Who said that? It was this guy. This uh, guy I know. No, uh, he's, you and him are kindred spirits, I'm sure, because <laughs> you hate movies and you don't want to see any of them. Who's this kid? Brian Bonsall. That sounds familiar. No, it doesn't. Was he the guy from, was he the older brother from ALF? No. If he is, then I'm going to give you so many props. I don't think that's right. No, he uh, he played Patrick Swayze's son in Fatherhood from 1993. Mm, I didn't see that one. He was uh, in a movie with Bob Saget, a TV movie that I guarantee you didn't see. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, he retired from acting early, man. Uh, failing he to went plan. on a high note, though, because that's a banger <laughs> of a movie, man. You see that in the theater, or did you rent that one from the video oh, store? Oh, I guarantee you I saw it in the theater at the time, and I've seen it since. I've seen it since. <laughs> I've got kids. I, mean, I care about my kids. I don't have my kids just on the floor scrubbing the bathroom floors like you do, man. We, my kids uh, get to enjoy themselves. My youngest one's watching all the Transformer movies, which I never really saw, so I'm kind of seeing them for the first There's time. There's a lot of them. Yeah. And then uh, I got one that I've really gotten into Guitar Hero, so I'm pretty. We've That's been doing a lot sweet. of Guitar Hero. That's so sweet, man. You do have, your kids have a good life. I, I take it back. I understand. Yeah. Failing to plan. That's the biggest mistake you can make. All right, number two, and this is this is a good one. This is a good one. I like this one. Some of these I won't like. I can already tell you because I'm reading ahead while we're talking about this movie. <laughs> Don't give any spoilers. All right, number two on this list, not discussing with family and friends. That is a big okay. one. Yes. That is a big one. So when you come and you do your estate of plan, you do your estate plan with us, you know, you, you take your originals because you need your you need your originals. The original will is very important. You'll need that or your your heirs will need that one day when you pass away. Your original trust documents, they're all important. We'll give you a set of copies and we usually email you, securely deliver you a set of PDF copies. But we do that. And with instructions like, hey, everybody you've named in this in this will, you don't necessarily have to give it to beneficiaries, the people you're leaving stuff to, but your executor. Your fiduciaries. Yeah, your executor, your trustees, your guardians, the fiduciaries you name in your estate plan, they should have a copy of this. They should know it exists. They should know what attorney prepared it. And they should know where the originals are. Yep, exactly. And and the originals being especially relevant for the, the will that you prepare, because you're going you're gonna to need it. You're going to need to take it down for probate. But- that's a great point because you, generally speaking, don't want that to be something that's just sprung on somebody. You want to talk to the folks. You want to understand. They, they need to. They need to know that you're entrusting them with this. They need to. Uh, un, you know, a good estate plan is going to spell it out mm-hmm. in the instrument itself. What needs to be done. 
but you want to make sure it's somebody that's on the same page with you that's going to be willing to do it. Um, and, and it's just an important thing to go ahead and hash out ahead of time. Because, again, once you're gone, you, you can't have that conversation with them. Yeah, I, I can give you one example. It's, it's not necessarily in a state, but we went out to dinner with some, um, you know, childhood friend, college roommate. Uh, we were well on our way, families, young kids. And at the dinner, the conversation was, we want you to be godparents to our children. Mm. If anything happens to us, you are going to take charge of their life. And you talk about a That's heavy. That's a heavy. I mean, it was a, a wonderful uh, gesture, and we were honored. And obviously, we, we agreed to do it. But I tell you, it's, it's, you start thinking about the importance of that. And again, it can, we can transfer that over to just an estate plan. I mean, it's, it's important to make sure that uh, people have this information. You know what you want to do if indeed you do uh, pass away and you want it to be carried out. I wonder if somebody's ever done that, taking someone out, taking a couple out to eat to say, hey, we'd like for you to be the guardians of our kids if something happens to us. I wonder if anybody's ever said no. I wonder, yeah. And what's the play on that? They let you finish eating first? They let you fin- they Did you get through the potatoes at least? And it's like, well, I'm, I'm sure that there have been people that aren't comfortable doing it. And I mean, we don't have the information in front of us, but I'm sure that, you know, percentages will say somebody's going to say, nah. Yeah. So that's why you ask at the end. Because you ask at the beginning, mm-hmm. they say dinner. no, and then that you got to sit dinner. there and you got to <laughs> sit there, listen to each other chew, and uh, that's tough. The other, the other part. I know we're coming up against a break, but the other part of this is too. You know, we're getting into this digital age. You know, we had we had we had a, we had a client, a past client, pass away. They they lived alone. They they didn't have children. Uh, you know, they had lots of nieces and nephews and things like that. But they they lived alone, and uh, they passed away alone. Right. And so they, it was discovered. They didn't go to work. Right. And, and, and so it was discovered they, they weren't they had passed away and no one knew anything. No one knew where anything was. Right. So, first of all, they 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 were told that there was a will. They didn't know where it was kept. They didn't have copies of it. They didn't know what attorney drafted it. They had nothing to go on. And then two, figuring out what your assets are, right? Right now, a lot of people don't get mail. They don't get statements in the mail. They don't, you know, so a lot of people get stuff digitally. It's very hard to figure out, you know, if you're not talking with anybody, if there's not like a list somewhere, we always advise people to make a list of, you know, at the time you did your will, here's where your investments were, here where your accounts were, give people a map. You know, that comes, that came up another time. We had someone who, who just passed away recently and, and we came in, we we're going to handle their estate administration and there's no will or anything. And we know there's a safety deposit box. We don't know where it is. Don't know what bank it's in. And so what good is it? Well, you're not, you know, the, we know what, we don't want to know what exists and, and we got to locate it. And then the heirs are, are working on that. You know, that's one of those things, but uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta let your friends and families know that you have one. So they know to look for it, where it is and who, and who did it. And that'll, that'll give them a good start, but that's a good one. Not discussing with family and friends. That is a, tr- that is an estate planning fail, Morgan. The outlaw lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer. Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm, where you can find them. They're the managing partners there. And again, practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. Offices located conveniently in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, Gastonia, and now in Moorhead City. Uh, We are talking about most common estate planning mistakes on today's program. Uh, Number one, failing to plan. Number two, not discussing with family members and having people uh, on the same page. Very, very important. We've got more coming up on the other side. Now, if you are facing a legal situation and you have questions of your own, and it might be an estate planning question, you can always call the firm 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Leave your contact info briefly what that call is about. And an an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. You can always email the question to the show, questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. We'll answer those on a future broadcast. We're back right after this. 